Welcome back. We are right here where we left off. Continuing onward into the mega structure. Oh, and you're running with me now, huh? Ooh, this is the, the magnet stuff we saw in that one lab, right? Kinda looked like that. That looks like a puzzle gate. Looks like another set of puzzles. Same pattern, one gate, three receivers. Like some sort of fractal symmetry. Oh, but I already have pieces. Interesting. Oh, the pieces are just already in the right order. <laughs> I can be three beams. I mean, the, the map has a whole bunch of these other areas, so this game's got a lot more content in it. Like, I, I didn't expect us to only do the east area and then go into the megastructure, but I guess they didn't want to keep us out of this too long. I guess you naturally do these puzzles, we'll unlock the ability to go to another area, and then we'll have a whole back and forth with going into the megastructure from each side each time, because it's got four sides. And there's four cardinal directions here, so... That would make the most sense. Oh yeah, particle cloud research. I forgot to read that last time. Preliminary, hey, preliminary analysis by Malvilla. Imagine an ant trying to make sense of a nuclear power plant. An armadillo trying to explain disco music. You get my drift. These particle clouds contradict every known law of physics. What's really shocking here isn't that we're seeing a new and powerful technology. It's what this implies about our grasp of physics. A lot of what we thought we knew must be wrong or incomplete on some fundamental level. A humbling realization. I don't like it. There's that song again that really gets in my ears in the muffled version. We have all the pieces here. This one... The question is, when will we build one of these? Okay, so they're different sets of pieces, at least. We don't have to choose which one we spend the pieces on. Yeah, because those two were three, and this one was four, right? Yeah. Well, there, that is... Getting locked out of parts of the system. I think I've tracked down some more schematics, though. Let's see. This might do something. Or not. There's no labels on these. That's interesting. This, uh... This might be a path forward, actually. Other than a side path. Maybe- maybe we should just do stuff in order this time. <laughs> Rather than running off and exploring. Ooh. What is this? Excuse me? So we had a three-way branch there, and now we have a two-way branch here. And one of the branches goes through a puzzle. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, now I want to check this way, then. Does this have a name, actually? Let me just check that. No, no name pops up on the screen. So it's just unnamed. I was thinking of going back and adding chapters to my episodes. I might still do that, but I'm not sure how I would do that for ones that don't have names. Fractal sounds about right. This is madness. Even the walls are bursting with power. Why are there so many branching paths? I, mean, I hope that these are just going to connect places that we can get to from elsewhere, and it'll just make make it easier to navigate and traverse between places. Uh, I feel a little bit overwhelmed. Let's just go back down and start that one. I 
I make that jump? Oh. Oh, that was... My, my jump didn't even jump properly there. That was scary. Alright. Just trying to see if we had any sight lines for shenanigans. Wait, can we even start this, though? That's the question. I didn't even consider that we might not be able to start this yet. Is this part of the puzzle? Do I have to go over there to come back around down here? Because I, uh... I don't see a way to start this one, actually. Maybe this is a part. So I'm trying to go over there, I suppose? It might be one of her... Ooh. Maybe I should do that one first. Ah, uh, no, that's the one I wanted to do first, actually. Maybe not. There we go. That works. Oh no! <laughs> it is part of the puzzle! Oh no. That's uh, really cool, but also oh no. Well, I only see one reasonable way to start initially here. There we go. I think that's all we need, right? Just a nice, simple one to get us started with this whole... Oh, there it is. I was like, where did it go? Oh no! Don't tell me that resets the puzzle. Oh no. Are you serious right now? Uh, I don't like that. I mean, I guess I could set this one up in advance, reduce the number of trips. You're gonna make me walk carefully? <laughs> Very tempting to walk there, but I don't think there's anything for us there. Ooh. Well. I don't see any secret stuff going on here that this would allow me to access. But we'll have to keep in mind that we can parkour in this area. The music was perfectly timed with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not liking my... Is that a leaf? I guess so. Not liking my chances here. Not 
not even sure what to be looking for here. Like, I don't even know if I'll find stars or anything here. Yeah, no information about this area whatsoever. Lover. Good job, 1K. I guess now we know why these are able to be done from either end, because I guess we're going to be looping around. And so that one time I, in episode 3 when I jumped across the, the gaps, and I was able to start building the bridge on the opposite end, I was like, why did they program it to be able to be built from either end like that? But I guess these all use the same code logic, I'm presuming. And so they implemented being able to build from either end for this stuff. And that's why it works in that area as well. Because I'm guessing we're gonna be able to wrap around and come back to this area again. Build these bridges. Yeah, because see, if we build the bridge there, then we can go over there and build a bridge from there. Or we can build it here and go there. So yeah, it makes sense that we'll be able to build the bridges from either end. Hmm. I want to do the base level ones first, before going upstairs. Let's just get this all connected up, why not? I'll have a straight piece in these ones. I think that's just to make it easier. Because then you only have to worry about two pieces. This looks more like the one that the feet design that was in Tales Principle 1. Why is it so big though? Is it gonna like pop out and be a living thing once we activate all of these? I don't imagine this is a door really. It doesn't look like it would swing open with no gap in the middle. base level one here? Huh. Odd sound. This one will connect to that one over there, that we were on the other side of before. Yeah, that's not, that's not a good start, really. Maybe that one? Yeah, that works. 
wonder how far down this goes. Now we're all connected up. And let's do this one. Just because we're here. Interesting. Excuse me? Jump here? <laughs> why why is it have a jump here prompt when there's something on top of it already? What am I standing on actually? Like <laughs> I'm just floating in the air on nothing right now. That's interesting. In third person, it changes where my character is moving when they walk themselves off. Whereas if I go in first person, then it moves me with my camera. Huh. Interesting. This has tower vibes, doesn't it? From Talos 1. That's a lever. Okay. Oh, and that's the big gun laser thing. Oh, is that screen space reflections? Okay. Okay, so our goal... ...is to eventually... ...get blue there. Will this go low enough? It might. It might go low enough. Which means we want red. Right. That's the red coming in. A ladder? Why is that there? Can we trap ourselves? Ooh, right, this is here. I think we would trap ourselves, right, if we block this beam? How would we undo that, though? Yeah, this is already bootstrapped. Oh, this ladder on this side, too. Okay, so we can freely go back inside. Back and forth, I mean. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, wait, what? Right, because it's got the alternate path. I see. Well then... Yeah, but that's... Yeah, that comes in as blue. can't take the cube across, so we have to leave the cube on this side, at least. Hmm. This is just a regular connector.
That actually doesn't really help much, does it? <laughs> this is elevated such that it really can't work at ground level, right? Yeah, that's not gonna work at ground level. Ooh! Yeah, that's a problem. These don't have names, right? This one didn't have a name, I don't think. Yep, no name. I don't think there's a reason to have the cube in here, really. Right? I mean, I don't see why we would- how that would be useful at all. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure we can't climb with an object, right? Drop the tool first, yeah. Let's just, uh, take this back where we found it. Why give us a box in the first place, so, like, why not just make this elevated? We can't get an angle... Or can we? Right here, I think we can. But... We wouldn't be able to see that. So they thought of that, okay. Well, that's not happening. If we get blue out of this, we need red. Red's coming out of that. So I just need to... Am I overcomplicating this massively? Just do this. Is that all I needed to do? Wow, that was all I needed to do. I could have done that right at the start. <laughs> I wasted so much time. Well done. Yep. Yep, you can blame me for wasting a lot of time on that one. I was way overcomplicating it. I guess there's only three puzzles total, then. Oh! There's fall damage in this game! I mean, I guess that makes sense given the lore, but... Yeah, there was no fall damage to Talos Wong because it was a simulation, but this is the real world, so there is fall damage now. But I keep that in mind. Witness. Really? Okay then. 
strange. The gate's open. Oh. One K. Okay. One, two, That's not what I expected. I'll finish up scanning this. lead to the same place. Just checking. Ah, I'm blaming that on my low graphic settings. Question. From Miranda, I was doing some reading while the last trial was running and I came across something I don't understand. There are a lot of references to ancient humans feeling that science is boring. To me, everything we're studying is mind-bendingly incredible, whether it's court gluon, deconfinement, or neutrino antineutrino oscillations, or even something incredibly basic like the properties of light. I understand why our ancestors cared about art, why a beautifully crafted story or poem was moving to them. But how could they not see that everything that surrounds us is just as incredible? Studying science is like studying the most incredible machine ever created. A machine designed to build worlds and tell stories. How could they not see that? I'm sure there's a good explanation, but I don't get it. Well, it depends. It varies from person to person how they'll be interested in different things. You know, people are a product of their genetics and their environment. It's a combination of those two factors. And uh, also, some people don't have good teachers, you know, education isn't the same everywhere. There's, there's a lot of different factors that could affect people's interest levels and things. Mother? What are you thinking about, Mother? The Talus Principle. You see... It has two applications. One is to the self. It means facing the truth, even if it frightens us. Understanding that living beings are machines and we can't afford to lie to ourselves. But that's just the beginning. The second application is to the world. This one seems easier at first. It's less difficult to understand that the universe is a machine governed by laws. So we and the universe are the same? No. And that's the crucial part. We are conscious. Consciousness is rare, unlikely, but it's also the foundation of everything else. Without us, there can be no meaning. Without someone to perceive it, the beauty of the universe is pointless. But that shouldn't make us arrogant. No, in fact, it means we carry a tremendous responsibility. 
We are the light of the cosmos. And if we go out, there will be nothing but a cold, dark machine. I like her voice. But I was right, it is a mother-daughter kind of situation. Why am I bouncing? Athena! The Founder was here? She could still be here. What if this... This is why she left, to build... all this? We have to look for her. I'm reading some pretty big energy spikes. I think we better scramble. But she could be right here, right behind the next door. I could turn around a corner and walk right into her. If she's really here, she'll still be here when we come back. But right now, safety needs to come first. Let's go, Byron. You... Oh. Damn you, but you're right. Heading back. Yep, that's what I figured our objective would be. <laughs> I'm already really the on the way. I think so. It was her. For years, I've wondered what happened to her, why she left, where she went, why she didn't... Why she didn't tell me. If the answers are here, I promise you we'll find them. We just have to be careful. Follow protocol. I still can't believe the Founder built this place. Has she been here the whole time? We don't know that she actually built it. All we know for sure is that she was here at some point. Of course she built this! Who else would have the kind of vision necessary to accomplish something like this? The question is why? And why like this? Why recreate all these aspects of the simulation? What is she trying to tell us? It does seem like it might be a test. I can't imagine any other explanation. But why is it so broken? Or does it just appear to be broken so that we have to learn how to fix it? I hate this. Well, I know one thing for sure. Everyone in New Jerusalem is gonna go absolutely nuts. We'll read that once we get over here. All right, take us back to base camp, Yaku. Yes, sir. I'm getting some new readings. Looks like two of the northern sites are lighting up. I think that may have been me. I suspect the puzzles are somehow tied to the transport system, like we're supposed to solve them in a particular order. Objective is getting back into the mega structure. 1K, I want you on puzzles. You seem to have a knack for them. Thanks. The rest of us can't neglect our secondary objectives of studying this island and understanding this technology. Now we have a compass on top of the screen. I don't know if we had that before. Also, while I'm here, let's read that document I picked up. Rest. Excerpt. How dull it is to pause to make an end, to rest unburnished, not to shine in use, as though to breathe were life, life piled on a life. We're all too little, and of one to me, little remains, but every hour is saved from that eternal silence. Something more, a bringer of new things, in violet were, for some three sons to store and hoard myself, and this gray spirit yearning in desire. To follow knowledge like a sinking star, beyond the utmost bound of human thought. Seems like a poem of some sort. What was this other thing I got? Inside the megastructure. From the degree to which vegetation seems to have spread, I would guess the megastructure has been abandoned for a while. 
although the combination of moisture and heat does create an ideal environment for plant growth. What makes it harder to be sure is that some plants have clearly been placed for decorative purposes, so a lot of what we're seeing may have been spread from there rather than coming in from the outside. It's surprisingly beautiful, but also kind of creepy. No, it's not creepy, it's beautiful! I love the way that looks. I like nature, but I don't like insects, you know? Because <laughs> insects crawl on me and that's a sensation I really do not like. But uh, nature is beautiful. I would spend a lot more time in nature if not for insects. Although, we kind of need insects for ecosystems, you know, as I was saying earlier, so... We can't just get rid of insects unless we have a really good replacement for them. Yep, can't do anything here yet. Makes sense. And there's a star over here, apparently. I think this might track all the stars we've gotten. Whoopsie. <laughs> I did not expect to be able to run right off the end of that railing. Release stars? Do I want to do that? Okay then. I'm back down to zero stars, apparently. I don't know if I should have released them or kept them, but... Oh well, I, what's done is done. I like this music. Ooh, we have a choice. Desolate Island, a remote rocky island off the northwestern coast. Survey data suggests the area may be prone to landslides. Flooded Valley, a large valley in the northern region of the island, inundated, by century, uh, inundated centuries ago by rising sea levels caused by anthropogenic climate change. And look at this. See, if I click on one of these, it says, cannot travel to unknown puzzle. Or if I click on this, then I can travel there. But when I click on these, I can fast travel now? Why couldn't I do that before? It lets me fast travel now, but it wouldn't let me fast travel earlier? Is it only for when you leave the area that you get the fast travel option? Or is that something that we've only gotten just now? See, I can fast travel to specific places now. Which one of these was loop? Uh, it's probably one of this one, right? No? Was it this one? There it is, loop. I want to see what this does. Alright, now what about- can I do it from this menu? No, I cannot fast travel unless I'm at the transport system, apparently. Well, that at least answers that question. So we can go fast travel to puzzles sometimes now, but we can't go all the way fast travel back to the transport hub. I've got to run all the way back there myself. Now we can go to one of the new areas. Seems to select a desolate island for me by default. Oh yeah, this is North 2. This is North 1. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm. Well... Just in case people are playing along with me, 
Uh, I'm gonna go to North One. Just so we keep you going in order. You should towards an island off the northern coast. The terrain's pretty rough, so be careful. The island has another island attached to it. Yes, it has several, actually. How irritating. What? What is this, Subnautica Below Zero? That's a triangle puzzle in that direction. Or that appears to be five. Looking at the compass at the top of the screen. There's another triangle puzzle over here, apparently. That one? Or no, that this one right here is a triangle puzzle, apparently. That one is eight. And there's a question mark somewhere. In that direction, quite a ways away, though. Not as close as that, apparently. Question mark in that direction, too. Huh. Large gap between the gate and the thing you actually have to build. Miranda is the Founder's daughter. It's still kind of blowing my mind. She came all the way out here, left everything she had behind and created a new life. Why do you think she did that? That sounds... cold. I hope it's not true. Miranda seems like such a lovely person. It would be terrible if she was created just to be a... servant. Well, I didn't expect that interpretation of my remark. But, uh... okay. I'm not sure, to be honest. This is all... So surreal. Walking around here is so peaceful, but it's also. I don't know. One moment I feel inspired, the next, kind of creeped out. Why would I ask if they ever met the Founder now, when they've just basically told me they have? Right, triangle puzzle... in this direction. Uh... no, that direction. And then we'll get the question mark on this side if we can. Yep, 
Here we go. Passing through. Oh no. This is a really bad sign. Cause, uh, these were only relevant to the recording puzzles in Talos 1. What? <laughs> Why does that happen? Oh, it pushes me even. <laughs> Why is that a thing? Interesting. I guess unrelated objects don't like to stack on each other. I guess it could... Hello? Oh... Okay... if I try to leave now. Is, is that a full consciousness transfer, or...? <laughs> they look pretty similar to me, yeah. Huh. How curious. That's probably not what we need to do. <laughs> yeah, I think I have... ...an idea. <laughs> yes! Oh, that makes me so happy. Which one of us is which now? <laughs> Well, things certainly got interesting. I've been wanting to see a puzzle game do that for a long time, and I've seen some puzzle games do it, but like, one in the same vein as Portal and Talos Principle, I have not seen it yet, other than, you know, thinking with Time Machine, but that's the recording mechanic that people don't really like that much. Whereas this is just, you, you swap between characters and freely do what you want without having to worry about recordings. I am so happy that they went with that approach instead. And it certainly makes a lot more sense for the lore. I like this music, too.
As we continue exploring the cold northern reaches of the island, the contrast between the harshness of this place and the softness of New Jerusalem becomes more and more pronounced. There is a kind of madness in what we are doing, going to a place that is so hostile to our existence. That does not mean there is nothing to love here. There is, in fact, a great beauty. But it is a hateful beauty, a beauty you can only love because there are places that are not like this. And yet, it is precisely this hateful beauty that the people of New Jerusalem fail to see and so cannot understand their own blessings. What do we have here? This is one of the things that doesn't seem to be counted at all on our... our map information. Let us consider the city. What is a city? It is not a gift from the gods, nor the product of nature. Unlike a mountain or a river, it is something that must be built through the deliberate arrangements of material by a mind imposing order on the world. And it is built to serve a purpose. To that end, it has roads and fountains and walls. And to the same end, it has laws and leaders. And though each city is built according to a different plan, all cities must serve their purpose, or they will fall and become ruins. Therefore, we may conclude that a city is also a kind of machine, constructed to improve the life of its citizens. These paths kind of make it really obvious where to look for stuff, because uh, otherwise, I don't know how you would know what's safe to explore or not. It's really difficult to tell apart what's inbounds and what out of bounds. That looks like a star secret up there. And once again, a whole lot of walking. This kind of really highlights the absurdity of it. There's some kind of beam. Find my sprite and follow it until it leads you back to me. The beam's going off way in that direction. So I guess it's somewhere over there, presumably. Question is, will that give us a star or a flame? I think last time it gave us a star, right? There's another question mark in that direction, so we'll head to that, and then we'll probably end the episode after that. Alright, this is the question mark. Oh, I think we're gonna read these next episodes, so, thank you for watching.